Let's learn how we can make screenshots programmatically. I'll first enable this option, delete when each test succeeds. And this is so that I do not forget to enable it back. I like screenshots to be deleted on successful tests. And just for this video lesson, I will also disable the capture screenshots automatically. And this is because we are going to learn how to create screenshots programmatically now. All right, so I will close this window and I'll go back to my UI test. So we'll scroll down to one of test methods. Let's say this one, when invalid form submitted, presents error dialog. And I'll create a screenshot programmatically in this UI test. We can take screenshots of entire app screen, or we can take a screenshot of a specific UI element. And to take a screenshot of a specific UI element, we'll simply need to call a screenshot function on it. So let's, for example, take a screenshot of this email address text field. I will copy the name of the field, then we'll, let's say, add some space under tab and call a screenshot function on it. Now, if I look into screenshot function, if I jump to its definition, a call to this function will return an XCUI screenshot object. All right, so I will need to assign this object to a constant. So I'll define a new object. equals to whatever is returned by a call to this screenshot function. And now when I have a screenshot, I'll need to attach it to a test report. And this is done with the help of attachments. And to create an attachment, I'll need to create a new instance of XCT attachment object. So I will create a new constant, let email text field attachment, for example, equals, and then a new instance of XCT attachment, and this will take in a screenshot, email text field screenshot, like this. And now when I have an object of an attachment, I can set a descriptive name on it. So let me copy its name and then set a name for it. And this name will appear in test report. And to find this attachment in the report, you will need to look for a name you provide here. So make it obvious, like for example, a screenshot of email text field. And now it is time to specify if we want to always keep the screenshot or if we want it to be deleted if the test method passes. And to do that, I will use the email text field attachment object again, choose lifetime equals, and there are two options that I can choose from, delete on success or keep always. So I will choose keep always so that if this test method passes, I'm still able to find that attachment. All right, and now finally, I will need to add this attachment to a test report. And this is done with the help of add function. So this one takes in an attachment object. And now I can save my test method and I can run and see if it creates attachment. All right, my test method passes. Let me go to a report. I'll choose jump to report, expand it, and look for an attachment. And here I see the added attachment named screenshot of email text field. And I can have a quick look at it. And here is just a single field. All right, so it worked and we were able to successfully create a screenshot of a single UI element. And following exactly the same steps, we can create screenshots of other UI elements. But we can also create a screenshot of entire app window. And let's learn how to do it in the following video.